Hello, hello everyone. Angela here from Allocate Designs and I am here to share with you a couple of new journals that I have finished. These are up in Etsy as we speak. Uh, so a little bit different for me. I decided to play around with some TN inserts. Now these don't have to be used as TN inserts. They can also just be used as a journal, you know, just by themselves. But the, I, I will make some standard size ones, but the standard size ones are just, they seem too narrow to me. So I made these, uh, these are the wide size, the, how do you pronounce it, Kahir? I'm not sure. <laughs> but they're the wide, so they measure eight and a quarter by five wide. And then obviously the yummy is sticking out. So I made two of them. They are as identical as two junk journals can be. Uh, there's very few differences as far as a few of the journal cards are going to have some slight differences. But that is pretty much, pretty much it. So I'm just going to flip through one of these. They are made with cardstock and then they are covered in this scrumptious, cozy flannel fabric that I, I just love petting. Uh, and it's just, you know, obviously the single signature that has been sewn in. And they're kind of like, the color palette was kind of like based off of this fabric here, so pinks and corals and yellows and oranges but I did do you know some additional pops of color because I can't not <laughs> there are some tags and journaling cards in here so this is just clipped on it's a large coffee stained tag out of like the manila folders that I have sewn a little pocket to. And this, it's a natural waxed paper. I picked it up at the thrift store. This is the box. And it is almost like vintage glassine. I, I was very thrilled with it. And then inside is just another little tag and a journaling card. And that's from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. So there's just some various tags throughout the pockets. I didn't glue down on this side like I normally do just because I wanted to leave a little, little wiggle room. Sometimes they get too tight. Uh, so yeah, anyways. <laughs> We've got lace and just my kind of usual variety of pages and papers. Mostly coffee dyed, but there's some that are not. I've got sari silk. I just got a shipment of new sari silk and I had four new colors and this is one of them. And the teal is another. They're just absolutely gorgeous. And I got these on Etsy, I think it's Victorian Gypsy Girl or something along the lines. I will try to remember to link her Etsy shop in my description below as well. Because she's got some great sari silks. This is one of my flower clips and I just have a journaling card on this side. And a couple on this side. And these are Tsunami Rose and Ephemera's Vintage Garden and the Graphics Fairy, I think, are the three I used. Through this journal, some of my unicorn dyed paper, some Edith Holden. That's going to be the one, one of the differences is they're going to have different Edith Holden book pages, but I put ones that both have yellow flowers. On them. A couple more tags in this pocket here and some more journaling cards clipped. Just a bit of washi tape. That's this 
center of the signature and I left these long because you could tie them in a bow if you want to attach things to the ends of them. So I just thought I would leave them kind of as is and let the recipient decide what they want to do with those. And some more tags. And here as well, the other side of that Edith Holden page. And I do have a beaded journal jewelry paper clip on both of them. A lot of the, other than the Sari Silk, these textiles are like the chiffon came from the Indian rug that I dismantled. A wee bit of pom-pom trim here. I forgot I even had this and started looking through boxes the other day and lo and behold, there it was. So into the journal it went. Some more washi tape. Some more journaling card there and some pretty yellow lace. And a few more tags in there. Oh, and also this is Dreams, Dreams Etc. Uh, they're actually a full like eight and a half by 11 sheet that you print out. I just cut it into three large tags to use in the journals because they're kind of perfect with the lines and everything and they're just gorgeous. So, alrighty, so that is these two wide traveler's notebook inserts, but you can use them just as a journal on their own. I mean, these are like the perfect little size to throw in your, your bag with and take with you wherever you go. So, <laughs> anywho, thank you guys so much for stopping by today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for all of your support and lots of love. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!